All right, so we got Dooney Boy Beatty in the building. Blue Father. The first time on the, uh, on the platform. I know a lot of the viewers probably like, damn, how many Dooney Boys is it? But we're going to run it through. We're going to run, run, run through them all. Yeah. <laughs> Good one. And people, uh, what well, they might not know, you know, you have a brother I, that I interviewed before. Yeah, uh, that's Kenny Boo, you hear me? Mm -hmm. That's my broski. Right. So, you know, since this is the first time on the platform, we're going to start it from the beginning. Yeah. Um, we want to start. Uh, just tell us where you where, where you from, and tell us what it was like growing up. I bet shit. You knew me. I'm from the Magnolia Uptown Third Walk, Six Cove Show. You hear me? Okay. Address twenty eight twenty eight oh nine. Bitch, watch out. You hear me? <laughs> right downstairs from Miss Sarah. You hear me? And right across the right across the yard from Miss Miss Mel. You already know what it is. You gotta have an address, huh? You hear me? You gotta have an address. You so already know what it is. You hear me? So six court, that's the new side. That's new side, facts. So tell me what it was like as a kid before, you know, even jumping off the porch. Tell me what it was like for you growing up on the new side in the Magnolia. I mean, that bit was straight out, you know. Like, all of like, we used to do all kinds of shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, that bit was straight, you hear me? Like, you hear me getting the tail with the niggas out of the milk. Shout out to the milk, shout out to the Kelly, you hear me? So those days early on was just like some uh, fist fighting. Yeah, fist fighting type shit, you know what I'm saying? Right, and then uh, you told me off camera that you went to Booker T. Yeah, you, you know said I went to Gladiator School, you hear me? So why, 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 why you call Shout out to Bub, you hear me? Oh, okay. Gladiator Bub. Oh, you went to school with him? Yeah, I went to school with Bub. So why why you call it the Gladiator School? Oh yeah, because you got to get it how you live in this bitch, you hear me? Or the strong survivor in this bitch, you hear me? And they went down up in that bitch too. So what, yeah, so was it a lot of uh, Calio people that went to Booker? Oh yeah, was that that was a Calio school, school right? Right, that been planted in the Calio. Okay, like Tom the phone is in the Magnolia. That's basically the Booker T in the Calio. So what, what what made you end up uh, at, at Booker T? Man, I was trying to get the full me. Mm -hmm. You hear me? But them bitches talking about some Ezra stupid ass Ezra shit. You hear me? And so you hear me? So did you have any problems well, being in that Calio heavy school? Oh yeah, you know I had to, you know, I had to get in there. You hear me? Rest in peace, the boogie slip. Rest in peace, the well, oh, I don't know where that bitch riding at. You hear me? But yeah, I'm pretty sure you, you know, you know, you hear me? Yeah, I'm Chad. pretty sure you have a Chad job. too. You hear me? Shout out to Chad too. You hear me? Right. So coming up, um, you know, being in the Magnolia as a kid, like you said, I had a lot of fist fights with other neighborhoods. For real. Um. You know, I interview a few people. So yeah. We just gonna get kind of get right into it. Uh, from Dooney Boy, Johnny Boo, really? Kenny Boo, yeah. Ski Boo, all the Boo. So uh, Boo City, you heard me? Boo City. <laughs> so tell me how. So from 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 your from your memory, how you tell me how the the Dooney Boy started? All right. I mean, my dog Rotunda, you heard me? She, you know, she bought me, put me down with the. With the, uh, with the squad, you know what I'm saying? And you know, and that bit was like that. And it was like that from there. So that's, you was a duty boy, quote unquote, before he's even a Yeah, name. this wasn't, it wasn't no name when I was, when I was fucking with the squad. So who, like who was a part of the squad at the time? All right, um, <coughs> me, my brother, Shorty Mike, Warrior, um, Tim, Kev, um, who else was there, up, man? And Trail, okay. Stoop, um, Stu, fucking um, Rock. Who else was it up, man? It was 411. 411, yeah, Warrior, Dizzy. Like, it was a lot of us, homie. Right. Like, it was a lot of us, you hear me? Like, Rob. If Rob, DB Rob, say, bro, if I forgot your name, bitch, you know it's all love, bitch. You know, I ain't, I ain't forget you, bitch. I just, you hear me? So, uh, when, I, when I interviewed your brother, one of the I guess you could say like a topic that a lot of people was going back and forth with in the comments was that making the 20k a day. That was facts. That was facts. That was facts. So who uh, at the, so at the peak y'all was making 20k a day? How, how would it be? Uh, like I guess the question for a lot of people is how would it be broken down? I broke it down like like he he break it down like like say depending on where you was at in the in the squad. You feel what I'm saying? It, it went on where he was at in the squad, like, you know what I'm saying? It was like levels to the shit, like, you know what I'm saying? From the, from the little niggas all the way up to, to you know, regular people. Right. You know what so, I'm saying? Mean? So tell me uh, your relationship with the, the, I guess you could say the two top top people, uh, Dooney and Ski. You can start with Dooney. What was your like, relationship? My relationship with, with Black was like on some brother shit. 
Like that bitch, like he'll get on your ass if you down bad, or you know what I'm saying, or he'll bless the game when it's all good. But like, you know what I'm saying, that was my big bro. That was my big bro, you know what I'm talking about? Okay, what about uh, Skit? Skit, like, you know, that's my other big bro. Like, you know what I'm saying, that's the bros, man, you know what I'm saying? Whatever they say, you know what I'm saying, it was like that, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm talking about? It's all good, shit. So what uh, Dooney Boys was you uh, closer to? I was closer to me, Trail. I was, but um, Rock, Rock really ain't considered no DB like that, cause you know he was, he busy with like fucking with black on some shit, you Dirty know what I'm saying? Shit. But like me and Rock was running head up, you know what I'm talking about? Before, which, um, what that question was again, bro? The, uh, the 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 DBs that you was the uh, oh, who to. I was closer with? I was closer to um, I was closer to Trail, Warrior, Shorty Mike, my brother, and it's Skip. Okay, um, so coming up. You know, being off the porch, did you find yourself getting into like a lot of trouble with the law? Yeah, I, them bitches was always right there. You know what I'm saying? Them bitches was always in the vicinity. Okay. <laughs> so what? Um, For sure. Them bitches was. You, hear me? you can't slip because them bitches, you hear me? They right there. Like soon as you think you turn right there, them bitches right there. You hear me? Right. So them bitches was always like. So you can't get comfortable. So your first arrest. Was it, uh, did you have to sit down for that the first, the first time you got arrested? No, my first time arrested, I, I bonded out. Okay. Me and the bitch did it, you hear me? Coming out of Cali, you hear me? <laughs> this bitch, but he got a widow, you hear me? Rest in peace, my home did it, man. He got that bitch, got a widow, you hear me? What was that situation about? Some dicks had ran, you know, ran down on us, you hear me? And I got, you know, I got hit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? For a gun. Mm -hmm. I had bonded out off that bitch, I had been home probably like, what, like two weeks. So what, um, then you got hit for another gun. Yeah. Is that? Probably like two weeks after. Oh, that was two after weeks I, after. After I bonded out on the other gun. Mm -hmm. Came home about two weeks, boom. They got so two weeks after you got caught with the first gun, mm -hmm. you get caught with another gun. Yeah. And the Magnolia. Some dope. And some, okay. So what What was the uh, situation behind that? Shit, just the same thing. You, you can't look. Them bitches, you can't, you can't, you can't sleep, you hear me? Cause them bitches right around the corner, like, them bitches ran up in there. The right. fuck? So what, uh, what's the, uh, how did it happen? Like, what was this, like, what the happened, story like, yeah, right, what right. happened behind <laughs> the shit? Like, me and Skit, me and Skit, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I just came home, you hear me? So I ain't got no cell phone and shit. So, me and Skit goes to the, you know, we goes to go get some cell phones, you know what I'm saying? But on the way back, you know what I'm saying? I'm telling the bitch, like, bitch, bring me home. Like, you know what I'm saying? It ain't no specific reason. I'm just trying to, like, because I know I ain't got nothing on me. I'm just, you know, ain't no specific reason that I'm trying to get home. But I'm just telling the bitch, bring me home. But that bitch, like, nah, bitch, you about to go. We about to go to the project. So when we get in the project, you know what I'm saying? We dips up. We dips that splits up. You hear me? So I go in the hallway. You hear me? My brother in the hallway. You dig? So. Once I get in the hallway, I ask the bitch, you hear me? Let me get in the hallway, you hear me? That be like, no, fuck all that, you hear me? Being a bitch yeah, like, like gotta tell the argument, whatever, woo the woo type shit, you know what I'm saying? But I eventually end up in the hallway, and, you know what I'm saying? Like, I see probably like 10 minutes after that, you hear me? I'm sitting. So, hold on, you wanna be in the hallway because the, the hallway was, it was, it was pumping. No. Oh. I'm, yeah, I'm just trying to get back to the money because yeah. I just spent all my money. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So, I'm just trying to get back to the money. I don't wanna be crap around this bitch, you hear me? Yeah. So, I'm just trying to get back to the money. You know what I'm saying? So, boom. So, I'm in the hallway now, you know what I'm saying? So, I see about 10 minutes. I'm sitting on the, I'm sitting on the stoop, you hear me? About 10 minutes. But the, the diesel, that shit was, I had a shit stash, but they must have found the stash, cause you know, it's silver pack, so you can't really stash that shit like that, you know what I'm talking about? And I had a, I had a, I had a ham on me in my temp. So easy to access the grass, bitch, you hear me? So, but I'm sitting on a little stoop, you hear me? And the, all I know, next thing I know, you hear me? The bitch Elvin come flash the, the light, talking about freeze, you hear me? I look back at the bitch and I tell him freeze. You hear me? And I checks out that bitch, and you know, one thing leads to another one. We go to the, the same hallway, you hear me? Where the, the nigga come from black, you hear me? The same hallway, that's the hallway I got hit in. You feel what I'm saying? So, but I'm the one broke that fucking door down, like, you know what I'm saying? So, boom. Me and the bitch wrestling, me and the bitch fight, you hear me? And then, shit, one thing leads to the next thing. 
So yeah, right. So you still had the gun in your in your uh? In your no, tent. I didn't. I ain't got rid of it. They defunct all that shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know that. They went back and found all that shit. Oh, okay. The shit is in, you know it's in scatters. You know how shit tossing shit when you you know how to do. So uh, after that happened, you get locked up. Did you have to uh, serve some time behind that? Yeah, that's when I laid it down. How much time did you get? Shit, on that time I did five and a half. Hmm. So take me to the day that you got that that five and a half. Cause I mean, shit, it's a long time. Yeah. So you, did you uh, go to trial or did you plead out? No, I plead out. Okay. I plead out. Yeah. What What was the uh, What was you facing if you would have went to trial? Do you know, or you just? Took I think it? I no, I just I just I just played out. Okay. I think it was like I think it was like twelve, think like twelve. So when you so when you got the five, how did you feel when you got the five? I mean, like. I really ain't had no feelings about it. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I really ain't had no feelings about it. Type shit, like, hurt or nothing like that. I really ain't had no feelings about it. You just knew it kind of I just, I just knew what it was, you know what I'm saying? I just, you hear me? Right. So when you was, uh, <clears throat> when you was locked up, in them five years, you know, you lost some people. Rest in peace to, um, rest in peace to Iggy, man. Man, Iggy did the whole jokes together. Okay. From the parish, on upstate, you hear me? Me and Egg did the whole juice together. Right. So when you was locked up, <clears throat> you know some of the some of the people that you mentioned that you were close with, mm-hmm. they they end up passing as well. Facts. Uh, how did that feel getting that news while being locked up? And who who which which one affected you the most and why? All right, black shit. Black shit affected me because it was like that's the big homie, like you know what I'm saying? It's like. That shit, like, I, you know, that shit was, like, phony to me, you hear me? So that shit that fucked me up, you hear me? But the one that really hurt me was the warrior, you hear me? Warrior hurting me, you hear me? Because, like, that was the little homie, man. If you know, you know, you hear me? That was the little homie. And that little bit was like that, you hear me? So, uh, but he had a brother as well. Yeah, Dizzy. Rest in peace to Dizzy, too, you hear me? Man, he, was, homie. He, uh, he was killed when you was locked up as well? Facts. So tell me about how how it felt, how, like how it affects you like being it, locked up. It felt fucked up because it's like every time I got tired of calling home. You know what I'm saying? It's like every time I call home, like some fucked up shit going on. Like and like I'm like fuck this shit. I'm not about to keep that shit fucking with my juice. You heard me? I'm not about to keep. You know what I'm saying? Fucking with that shit. So I, you know, I I eventually stopped calling home. Damn, it had an effect on you like that. Yeah, cause like. I'm getting tired of like every time like you know what I'm saying? Like, right, right. Niggas getting killed and like and I'm pissed off on some shit because I'm up in here and I you know what I'm talking about? Right. So take me take me behind the wall when you when you locked up. What's what's the difference between being locked up and being on the street? Man, it's it two different worlds. Mm-hmm. When you in this world, in the free world, you gotta think it in the free world. Mm-hmm. When you in that world, you gotta you gotta be in that world. You can't be in both worlds. Mm-hmm. You can't be in both worlds. You can't be on the street and in jail. You can't be in jail on the street. So you got. So I would. So I went to focus on jail right. when I was back there. Like you know what I'm saying. Right. Oh, all right. So um, I heard. Well, the way uh, Kenny, your brother, described it, it was mm-hmm. like different, different parts of like the Dooney Boy era. Yeah, yeah like one, and two, and three. Yeah, it, it was different factions. No, right, right. Yeah, it was different factions. So would you say you was around for the first and the second? First, the first action, faction. Just the first? Just the first. The um, original. The re- okay. Yeah, I was around for the original faction. And how, um, what was like the difference between the original and then what you was hearing later on? They had got more active. Mm-hmm. And then active, like just, you know, in the streets and everything. We, I mean, we already active. Right. But they got a little more active. Cause y'all was, uh, you said at first, at first, uh, y'all was pretty much about the money. Yeah. Just how some like, y'all were younger too. Yeah. yeah. And then like, you know, but see, I was already on my shit. By the time, probably like, by the time I'm like halfway in my jokes, they coming into whoever it is. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So like, you know. So, so like, did you ever call home and you would hear, or you would hear stories about certain people and you'd be like, damn, he done. He done grow, you know, yeah. he done growing up now Fact. and he doing this and that. And what Fact. you remember him is just yeah. a, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't, you can't sleep on them little bitches, you hear me? 
Cause like I, when I come home, like you hear me, that bitch E can't got me from home too. Can't got me. You hear me? When I come home, E can't grab me. You hear me? We go to the project, but like you can't sleep on them little bitches though. You can't sleep on them bitches. You know what I'm saying? Like cause the little bitch um. What's the little bitch name? Oh, I'm down bad. L, you hear me? Shout out to that little bitch L, you hear me? We on the L, that little bitch L pull up on me like, B, the bitch, what's up? I'm like, what's the hell, little bitch? I don't even know who the little bitch is, though, but the little bitch that shook up. You yeah, shook up, you hear me? That bitch like, bitch, this L, bitch, this L. I'm like, oh, that little bitch was 80. Because when I left, the little bitch was just a little shorty, you hear me? Like, come on, this bitch taller than me now, like, you hear me? Like, but at the end of the day, you can't, you know, you can't sleep on the little bitch, you hear me? What uh? What year you came home? I what come year? Home, what year you get locked up? I got locked up in two thousand. Two thousand. I come home in 05, probably like three months before Katrina. Oh damn! Okay. Me and Trail just came home together. Trail came home probably like two months before me. So you kind of got locked up in the middle of like that run that right. you know scared. Soon as we went to taking off, mm -hmm. like once, like once that bitch like went to in motion, like cause we ain't, you know what I'm saying? We ain't had no long run. You feel me? So just imagine if we'd have had like a, a five year run or some shit like that. You know what I'm talking about? We ain't had no long run though. So did y'all have um did y'all come across any problems during that short run y'all had? I mean, you always gonna have, you know what I'm saying? That shit like just the same shit what I say about the with about the dicks, you heard me? Them shits is always gonna be right around the corner. You always gonna you know what I'm saying? It's never gonna be completely sweet. Right. You know what I'm saying? So when you when you came home, um what was the adjustment that you made? Were you still active in the streets when you came home? I was about to get back active. You feel what I'm saying? But once I seen how shit was going, I decided to do by, like, you know, going my own way. Because I, I, I don't play both sides of the field. You feel what I'm saying? And so I didn't play both sides of the field. So that's what led to me doing my own fucking thing, me and Trail. And that was like your, your right hand man when you came home? Yeah. And y'all was doing y'all own thing, you said? Yeah. So you weren't even, um, did you? Wait, by the time he had, by the time he had, I had to fell back a little bit more. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? I had to fell back a little bit more. What was the difference? He about? still was, you know what I'm saying? He still was like, what, what was, what was the, uh, what was the difference between when you, when you came home or when you went in and when you came, like when you came back home, like what was the difference when you, when you got back to the uh, project? I mean, the project was fucking gone. Mm. I was pissed about that, yeah. you know what I mean? The whole shit, that shit looked the to me. You feel me? The project gone. I mean, it looked good, but from, you know, from, from knowing what I know about the bitch, you know what I'm saying? It was kind of like heartbreaking. On some shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was like all breaking on some shit. Cause they already had started tearing it down before Katrina, right? Ain't no. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, before Katrina, cause I came home like three months before Katrina. Oh wow. So yeah, yeah, they had already yeah, they was gone. Look, look, what, what 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 year that bitch was completed then? Probably three? Oh well, three? Like tore down? Yeah. Probably like oh three? Nah, it was it was still up a little after Katrina, cause I remember um Going back there, they still had, you know, they had the watermarks and shit by. Okay. So it was probably left like in 07. Okay. The whole Complete. thing knocked down. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Probably so, like 07. 06, okay. some shit like a little bit after Katrina. So before before you got Katrina, locked Katrina, it is basically like probable cause that bitch, like, you know what yeah. I'm talking about? That was probable cause for the go to the move. Damn, they wiped out the whole third war, didn't they? Facts. It? Mm -hmm. So when you, before you got locked up in 2000, um, you know, I ask everybody this question and nobody, you know, I'm trying, I always try to go back to the music, but nobody, you see, like, nobody was worried about cash money, but. Nah, we were fucking with the shit, though, you hear me? Like, shout out to Turf, man. You know what I'm saying? We, look, for the Rough Rider, for the Rough Rider, um, cash money concert, you hear me? We in Ace Town, you hear me? We in the mall, stupid biscuit, you hear me? <laughs> he the one bucked me up, dude, like, cause a little female thing up turk, you hear me? Like, she run up over turk, turk, let me get your hat, let me get your yeah, yeah, with the yeah. yeah. That shit. You hear me, let me get the yeah. <laughs> I'm like, man, I'm like, I'm looking stupid, I'm like, man, this little trick talking about, you hear me? So, yeah, skit like this, be it, go ahead, get up, bitch, get up. <laughs> Bad day of tag, you hear me? That was the last I could know about that, you hear me? Uh, and did you, uh, you came up with turk? Yeah, man, Turk came up together, you hear me? Shout out to Turk, man. Do you have uh, any early memories with, uh, with Turk? Yeah, me and Turk ran in that Booker T, you hear me? Me, Turk, Rest in Peace, the Remy. Fuck, Eldridge, you hear me? Yeah. 
Uh, uh, Stefan. I remember. Crip. When, when you heard I, me? Shout out to Crip, man. Frog, watch out a little bit. When I uh, interviewed your brother, he said that he got Turk and Turk and somebody jumped him when he was younger. Turk uh, and Rat. Okay. Who's that, Rat, little bitch? Watch out. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> So when so so what about when um, Cash Money was shooting videos back then in the projects? Like what, what was the atmosphere like in the project? Like, I mean, that was shaking. I ain't gonna lie. Like we already had the sauce already. You know what I'm saying? But them shooting videos and shit that brought a little more sauce to that bitch. You know what I'm saying? But like you know we was D boys. You know what I'm saying? We were dope boys. So like it it kind of it you know it was it was cool. We were fucking with it, but it didn't impress us. It didn't impress us because we was already doing what we was doing. Like you know what I'm saying? Like. All the video shoots I went to, went to them and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, the last one, the last video shoot I went to, got that fire, you hear me? I got that fire, girl. How you know that, bitch? How that nigga if you want that? I said, my, you hear me? So we out there, you hear me? All the probably like eight of us, you hear me? Because we already know they pop around now, you hear me? So we go around there, so we pull it up, see them do their thing. Same thing with the one in the home, um, back that ass up. We was out there for that shit, too. You know what I'm saying? So. We go around up, watch them do their little thing for about a good, I'm going to say a good 10, I'm get a hard 10 minutes, dog. you hear me? A hard 10 minutes, because it's still, it's still action over around the corner, dog. that shit popping. <laughs> we got a food stamp line around the corner right now, while we coming over here looking at these, you know, it ain't stupid ass videos, but that's how we was looking at this shit. Like, man, we need that stupid ass video, man, fuck this shit, I'm about to go back to the motherfucking money, man, that's how it was, you know, so it like, much respect to Cash Money, man. Y'all held it down for us, man. On the national shit, yeah, y'all the one stamped us. So, shout out the whole Cash Money, man. But it was lit, though, man. Mm -hmm. That bit was lit, though. But it was like, you know, we just, you know what I'm saying? We just, you know, we was we was into some other shit, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't like, you know. They played a part in our shit, though. Don't get it fucked up. They played a part in our shit, but we were just, you know, we still was on our own shit, too. Just like they was doing their thing. We was doing our thing. Did they, uh, did they ever, uh... Influence you to try, did you ever try to rap? Oh, man, okay. yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. But that shit, I don't know, that shit, like, when I came home, like, I tried to get me in trail. Shout out to Kennedy, you heard me? I tried to tell him, we ain't hear me? Ooh, that bitch, Jeezy had it lit, too, after Katrina. Watch out. Ooh, Jeezy little bitch. You hear me? <laughs> but yeah, man, I tried to you hear me? get them niggas on some shit, man. Them niggas like, man. Stupid ass nigga won't be a rapper. Like, we used to look down on rappers. Like, you hear me? Like, them niggas eating now. Watch out, little bitch. Yeah. <laughs> but you hear me? Niggas getting money. Y'all get that money, man. Right, for sure. So, um, about the name, how the name, the Dooney Boy name came about. That shit came from, they say it's from Kiki. Yeah, they say, that's, watch out, Kiki, bitch. I'll punch you down right now. What's him? <laughs> watch out. Shout out to Kiki, man. That's my fucking dog, you hear me? Uh, they say Dooney was like, kind of like, he was he, he ain't he ain't playing no games as far as just being on y'all back, making sure y'all doing what y'all supposed Thanks. to do. Um, is that where the structure came from? You would say with the whole uh, yeah, that, I guess so because like you know what I'm saying like that shit was like you know what I'm saying. You can say it was you can say it was structure. You heard me because like we did like you you know we could catch up with each other and you know before like I I ain't gonna say it was no. Wild gun, no, no wild wild west shit with us, but you know I, I would consider I would I would consider it to be like a less structure type shit, right? So, so what, like you know, take me to like a a, a day, just playing a hallway, right um, just a regular day, and uh, like Dooney Dooney run down. What he he try to straighten everything up? Yeah, yeah. He definitely gonna like you know what I'm saying. If he'd heard about it, he definitely about to come and straighten it up. <laughs> he definitely about to come check on it, right? Like, yeah, exactly. I peep this out, look, got this little F about the bitch Timbo, you hear me? Timmy, you hear me? Pasquale, watch out. So, one day, you hear me? We just random shit, we thugging, you hear me? He, the bitch had got him a little go-kart or something. He got some type of go-kart, go motorbike, mini bikes or something, go-kart, go you hear me? And same thing, same thing with, um, what you were saying about Timmy with the, you hear me? Don't give him no keys to the car. Same thing with Trail, you fuck around and give me, you hear me, you fuck around and give me your vehicle, you gonna be, how, how, same thing what he say about with the um, yeah? You fuck around and give me your vehicle, he ain't coming right back and your shit, he about to go perv all the projects that he fuck with, you hear me? So, homie talking about, he went to home and come back, he about to knock him out, you hear me? Boy, not today, bro. Not on my watch, bro. 
So yeah. who, who 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 said it was a so so what happened? So Tim somebody, is quiet, you know? Okay, so somebody had it. So Tim had the go kart. No, it's it's it's, it's quiet go kart. Uh huh. But he let Trail see the bitch. Okay. And Trail, you heard me? Trail, he shaking. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? He's dipping. You ain't no telling where the bitch at. You heard me? But you know one thing. He coming back. You know what I'm saying? But like, fuck. I guess Tim wanted it. Timmy wanted this shit back. You heard me? He wanted this shit back. Like, he like he, he would start to feel played or something or whatever, I guess. You know? So what happened when he came back? It was everything was already done. Oh, it's you already it, done yeah, it all that shit. <laughs> oh yeah, Oh yeah, I already got everything. We already you know, had a little conversation, man. Yeah, look. The one minute conversation, you know, one minute is a long time in the action, bitch. <laughs> so we had that conversation. Oh, you, you know, know, we talked about it. Yeah. And everything worked out just fine. Oh, alright. You were telling me the dog, though. Yeah, but that little bitch was a live wire, bitch. That little bitch, though, he tore up. Where's the P. Timmy, man? Like, man, Shorty Mike, like, man, Shorty Mike, like, what? Oh, one night, bitch. We all that. The same night. That picture that's floating around the internet, me, Shorty Mike, Rock, Dooney, and Timmy. That picture there, we in, what club, what club that was? Club. This bitch, yeah. yeah he, and he a short motherfucker too. But all of a sudden, we just have to look over to the motherfucking, where we at, to the right. This bitch pissing in the club, man. He just like, wet, lean and everything, just pissing all over everything. We die laughing at this nigga, man. He tore up, you heard me? He so, tore up. So what, uh, how, how did you take the news when you found out that, uh, that he was killed? How did you take that news? I was like, you know, like, like with all of them, man, like none of them shit was in like no good feeling. Mm -hmm. Like none of them was no good feeling, you know? All of them had their own levels to the, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Had their own levels of pain in them, but all of them, none of them shit felt good. Right. Did you have any uh, early memories of seeing uh, Soldier Slim around? Yeah, Slim used to cut all out here, man. That's like Slim the Magnolia Ball, but watch out. Yeah, that bitch cut all out here. So when he, when he was rapping, he was probably like the hood favorite. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? That bitch stayed in jail and shit. You know what I'm saying? You can't never really catch the bitch. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When the bitch home, the bitch running around. You hear me? Uh, you know, he jammed up. So you really, you know, you really can't catch the bitch. Like, you know, you got to know you know. You know what I'm saying? And then, His dogs knew what's down with him. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't, you know, I was under, I was under slum. Right. But you used to, like, like, I, like having broken down like three different parts of the DBs. Mm -hmm. He was pretty much like that third part. But yeah. you, weren't, you weren't really around for that when nope. the DBs kind of... Got under his wing, I guess you could say. Yep, I was going for that. He was too. going for that. Okay. Did so you, that, but that, you know that that less span of time, five and five, any fucking time is a long, a day is a fucking long time. Yeah. But in that less span of time, so much shit had happened in that fucking time, mm -hmm. dog. So much shit, dog. I already know. You really can't, you know, type put your finger on type on shit. You know what I'm saying? Because you know that bit was a, that bit was active. Right. And then when you came home, everything was kind of like yeah, different. Yeah, it, it and like. By the time I came home, like, you know, like, Slim was the last one. So that bitch, like... Oh, yeah. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. Slim was the last one. So once I came home, like, everybody, like, basically doing their own thing. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like, right. everybody basically doing their own thing at this time. Did you have uh, any kind of relationship uh, with Be Stupid? That's a... Uh, yeah, you know, I fucked up with that little bitch, you know. But, you know, I wasn't... I ain't never really run around stupid. And by the time he went to shaking, I was, you know, I was gone. Right. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, shout out to Stoop, you heard me? So uh, one, one person that uh, I've been talking to that's that's currently locked up, we got the interview coming coming soon, is uh, uh, Logger Log Black. Shout out to Logger Black, man. So were, were you around? Like, did you did you come up under uh, under Logger? Facts. Okay, then uh, Same what kind of, um, yeah, any stories with Logger? Yeah, Logger, Logger, you know what I'm saying? Like, back in the era, like in the 90s, like Logger and my A.T. was like real hanging real tough, you heard me? Logger, Keisha, my A.T. Puna, you heard me? They were running real tough, you know what I'm saying? So like, that bitch was always around me, you hear me? Don't start ripping that bitch, you gonna tear your ass up all day, bitch. All day. <laughs> Sometimes I used to start ripping that bitch just on, just on purpose, just to make that bitch start getting it on, you hear me? Yeah, that's what, that's what, um... That's what I heard, man. He be on that all day. Long all day. Blood. Don't start him up, you hear me? He just get it. He just get all, so every he time I max out, yeah, you start him up, he go max out, bro. I just, Real. I get to talk to him. When I talk to him, I just get started. I just say something just to get him started. Yeah, just to get that bitch. Yeah, I just do that shit just to get him started. See what he gonna go with. You're, bitch, what you got for me today, bitch? Yeah. <laughs> bitch, so black put over against the wall, look like a hole. Who you told that to somebody? I'm telling that to that bitch right oh, now. Oh, you bring that boy. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> Shout out to Homer Logan, bitch. Watch out. Shout out to Logan. Um, another DB that I um, that I interviewed, Johnny Boo. Um, Ooh, was that Boo fuck? Yeah, did you have a, uh, a relationship with Johnny Boo? And uh, uh, yeah, how do y'all stay in the day? Man, we good today. I talked that bitch every other day, you hear me? Me and, me, and Johnny, me and Johnny Boo relationship started after I came home, though. Mm, okay. Because his sister and my sister just run together, you hear me? Okay. Shout out to them. Okay, so you and Johnny Boo got closer when you came home? Facts. Okay, okay. Is it, is it because maybe when, when you got locked up, he wasn't... Uh, no, Boo was out. He was around, but he wasn't in our circle. Yeah. He still was like... He still was like in that bitch. Mm -hmm. Don't get him twisted. He still was in that bitch. But right. like for us, like he wasn't running without server. Okay. So look, you no know, war is short as a motherfucker. But he he sharp, you hear me? But the bitch handled itself like a man. So that's why this bitch was able to travel, do everything we was doing. You feel me? But this was already ready already. You see what I'm saying? But we one night we go to the strip club. We in the strip club this night. You feel what I'm saying? We all at the ball, Joseph. Oh my God. Yeah, we at the Talk ball, Joseph. Right now. Yeah, we at the ball, Joseph. I was like, you know what I'm saying? The females, you know, the, the dancers, you know, they, they coming flocking around us, coming to see what's happening and shit. Yeah, so wow. they got this one, yeah. you hear me? The female, she, you know, she twerking it, she twerking all in front of us. You know, we, we put this bitch dizzy rat. <laughs> dizzy, he with the clan with the girl, right? He with the clan with the girl, right? The girl like shut him down, like and then he would the he oh, would the curse it up, he would have blow it out, you hear me? And look look what Shutter did. Shutter came right by us, we would just keep giving the dogs. <laughs> he like fuck that there, lad. That whole fuck that hell. I'm gonna stick my fat up in there. I mean like Man, Dizzy, bitch, you can't do that, bitch. You can't be doing that, Dizzy, bro. Dizzy was a wild man, man, Dizzy was a wild motherfucker too, man. Dizzy was wild too, but man, war is my dog. I had so much respect for that little dude, bro. I was so hurt when that dude got killed, bro. Then I heard, man, I was so hurt about that shit. Mm -hmm. That shit hurted me, though. I ain't gonna lie. Because I knew where he was going. Same thing I, with Bussy. That's how Warrior's gonna be, but on a, on a whole nother level type shit. Like, he would have, like, he would have been Bussy, but, like, a more of a thinker. Yeah, he would have been a more of a thinker, like, type. You hear me? So, like, I just ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit was just, that shit, I just ain't, like, that shit was fucked up, bro. So now we got Kenny Kenny Boo on the uh, on on the screen. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what's the hell? And we, we, we spoke bro though, man. Yeah. And we spoke about the uh, the Cash Money concert last time we did an interview, uh, Kenny Boo. Um, but y'all end up going to Houston. Yeah. Tell me about tell me about that trip to Houston. What's the hell? See, man, like we you know we already we already getting ready to go, we gone, boom. So now we on the highway, you hear me? I is up in the I is up on the wheel. You know how a nigga you know how a nigga beat, you know what I'm saying? Like you know well, who, who was all in the car with y'all? Me, you wasn't in the car, mm -hmm. huh? It was just me, Skit. I think, I think um, Donnie, Donnie was in the Riviera. Yeah, Donnie was in the Riviera. Um I think it was it, I think, who else was in the Oh, that's a damn good question, Jake. That's a damn good question. Cause I I just remember me and that bitch, you heard me? Mm -hmm. Hope I ain't leave nobody out. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, riding. <laughs> yeah, we riding, but like, you know, I end up on the wheel, you heard me? He trying to get he trying to be trying to get him some Z's or something, you heard me? <laughs> so look, he uh uh no Z's, bitch, wake up, bitch. Every time he try to fall over, I hit a beat him. Beat it, bitch, you don't know how to drive. Bitch, I got up there, bitch. Watch out. <laughs> yeah, that boy skissy, that boy was like, skissy that ball was like. Had, a, had a, the wrong hand on the wheel. Yeah, I drive with my left right now. Still right, right now. Boy, pump figure like you know how to drive. Skit said he ain't get no sleep fucking with Beatty going to Houston, man. <laughs> Shout out to Skit, man. Shout out to Skit. And hey, y'all went to Houston. Uh, was that where the concert was at? Or y'all just... We just went, we went to go get our gift from Houston. Oh, okay. That's how you know we was on some other shit, son. We wasn't even shopping in the city no more. Yeah, bitch, watch game. out. You hear me? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Niggas wasn't on that shit, no iceberg and all that, man. Don't let niggas tell you, yo, they was on that shit. They, I mean, like, you guys, you know what I'm saying? Like, they got different factions of that shit. Before, when we was doing that shit, nobody wasn't doing that shit, son. Nobody wasn't doing that shit. So what, what other trends, and both of y'all can speak on this, what other trends did, the, you could say, the Magnolia started? The Reebok, man, the Soldiers, man. That shout out to um, Rest in Peace, the Soldier Slim. That's his work, you hear me? The Soldier Sign. The Soldier Sign, that's our stamp. All kind of shit, man. Yeah, Teardrop, that's our shit. 
I ain't gonna see, I probably wouldn't see Tip Drive, yeah, but Tip Drive was a shine, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's a shine, yeah. That exactly. made us stand out here. That, when you got that cross right cross. in the middle of your... Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. a shine, for sure. And that's all Slim work, too, really. Yeah, that's all, like, Slim, man. he laid the blueprints and all that shit, you hear me? But he, you know, he a product like all the rest of us, you know what I'm saying? Slim was that. He the product like all the rest of us, man. Slim was yeah, that, he was that, yeah. Like, Slim, like, I'm gonna tell you he this. He started the camouflage shit, too. Listen, I'm gonna tell you this. Probably, it wasn't a lot of niggas living when they was rapping. Bet. Slim definitely was one. Heard so, so uh, one of the Cash Money members, a hot boy that was front of project, I, I believe the old side was Turk. And yeah, you, you, you know, y'all said y'all had a relationship with Turk. Um, we'll describe that relationship. Like from from. You know, me and Turk ran together, so that bitch been one hundred. You remember? Know I mean? mm -hmm. But I go, yeah, they, you know, beat it, beat it, Turk is so. They went to school together, but that bitch, that bitch, that bitch went to acting a little Hollywood, though, you hear me? But I, you got I, don't, I, I wouldn't say that, though, Slim, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, I guess, you know, it just probably looked like that because, you know, you know, motherfucker coming into the big, big bag now, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, when you get you know, that, that big money, got Hollywood. he got a little Hollywood. <laughs> Fuck. Shout out to Turk, man. Shout, Shout out, out to Turk. Dog, though, Watch out, Turk, 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 no. That bitch, Turk, oh, man. Bro. That's so what, like, what you, like what, how would he act as with, with how you seen him being Hollywood? Like what like a be? like a rapper. Mm -hmm. So you know what I mean? Like is, is it you know like they do this wrong? Like yeah, like, it's, like, yeah, like if like we I never you know what I mean? Like they did video shoots and like you would think he'd be mingling like and it, it wasn't like that. Like so it was just like he and it was like you grew up with us. Like yeah. so it was like it was different. Like and we and it, you know what it was though. We didn't expect that, like, cause you know when you grow up with somebody from the mud, you they come around and you think that it'll be. It wasn't, it, you know what I mean? But it was our love, though. I still fuck with Turk. That's my dog. Right. So it is what it is. But that big guy, he know he got Hollywood. Everybody know that bitch got Hollywood. <laughs> right. Oh, all right. So uh, what about what about Juvie though? But he was Juvie older though. Yeah, yeah, Juve was older. He was older, but y'all would see him around in the project. Yeah, you, that, you always see you, Juvie. Like we used to be in Keys a lot. Always. Juvie, you, you went to Keys too. Like if you went to Keys, store, shout out the Keys, man. If you went to Keys, store, you gonna break Juvie up. So you went to Juvie was a nigga was around. Like he was around. So who who was y'all like personal favorite out the Cash Money crew musically? <clears throat> my favorite was Wayne. Wayne. I remember this. I my remember, favorite was Wayne too, but I was fucking with that bitch Jeezy. You mm. Dog, let me tell y'all. Remember that bitch Let me Jeezy. let me fuck y'all up. <laughs> I remember me and this nigga having the bait about rappers, bro. Facts. No disrespect. On the feed. No disrespect. On the feed. You know, I think we was on Clarity's day on Shawty Mike and Porch. Okay, okay. No disrespect to Lazane. Yeah. This boy was telling me at one time Lazane was better than Lil Wayne. Man, because like just off hey, you know, off what song that shit that strike one. I think that was the song. <laughs> strike one. You no, know but I'm saying, but that's the song. No. That's like the only song that Zayn was known for. No, that wasn't. And man, this man all that this. song with one twelve. Man, Zayn had a song with one twelve. But look, but man, he was all this yeah, boy telling out. me Lil Zayn is better than Lil. I'm like, Vidas, you but serious? Wayne took the crown when he come up with that lights off. You heard me? Mm -hmm. Ooh. I felt so disrespected when that nigga said boy Lil Zane was better than Wayne. I'm like, hold on, beat it. Wayne shit. I know that I guess, I guess, I guess Wayne heard like, that shit too. You heard me? So Wayne shit back. That shit I'm like, I know, right right now. Now. I know that little hook and all that right shit now. fire, but Lil Zane probably even had, he did probably have the best best rap on that song though, but he yeah. could never fuck with Wayne. Yeah. He yeah. with that song. Yeah, because that look bitch Wayne, like, you hear me? Like, I think at that time, but like, probably, like I said, I was fucking with Jesus. You know what I'm saying at that time, so probably like you know what I'm saying. I, you know, Jesus was a dog. But that little bitch, it was like he eight one and eight two without Wayne and Jesus. Jesus. Right. And that bitch stage to be spitting. Jesus, Jesus was more like raw. Jesus, yeah, Jesus was more raw. Like, he was like, like Jesus shit was Jesus shit came all yeah. different. Like, yeah, this shit that hit this. So, he was uh, carrying cash money for a while. Man, man. Jesus was different. He man. carried bitch out there and, and nigga talk that shit, bro. Jesus was young, putting out them studio albums, bro. Pimp Daddy, after Pimp Daddy, like, beat, BG basically carried that bitch. You and that V had not fell out. Not fell out, fell out, but you know, you and that V had not left. Think about time. this. Think about this. Nigga talk about Lil Wayne now, but this dude was putting out classic albums before Lil Wayne. Yeah. Like, Jesus. that fucking... Jesus. That, that volume, all that, bro, all that, that Chopper City. All that Chopper City volume, when that, all that shit was like, like that. All that shit was man. like that. Jesus held that bitch down. Shout out to Listen, Jesus, man. man. Free Jesus, man. 
Shit, free Jeezy, man. Lil Wayne Wayne. was just more. I think Lil Wayne was just a a better rapper, but Jeezy. Lil Wayne was the nearest. But no, none of them couldn't fuck with Slim, though. Nobody. Ah, ah. It was Slim and everybody else. (laughs) Believe that. Believe that. But then, what, uh, I think what put Cash Money like on the map for me personally, even you know I'm from the East Coast, Bet. was that 400 Degrees. Yeah, 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 that yeah. That's yeah. probably one of the best hip hop albums ever. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what right. coast is on. Right, right, right. right. I'm trying to get hip hop albums. That bitch is like that. Welcome to the Magnolia. Oh, oh bitch, you won't get it. Look, you turn that it. bitch on. And I ain't gonna lie, like Juve was a nigga you seen in the project. Yeah, all the time. Yeah. He was nice. like, I ain't gonna leave it front. Like Juve was a nigga you always seen. If you yeah. was in on in the TC, yeah. he was in Key Stoke. I'm um, bro, posing like a dog. You already knew. So did y'all? Uh, did y'all? Did y'all mess with the No Limit movement? The music in there, like I you, fucked it with Reginelli too. You hear me? That was him and his, him and his cousin. They, you know, I think you hear me. I fuck with him too, you hear me? I was fucking with C Murder shit. I fuck the with only, the shit. only the only shit I fuck with with no limit power was Mac, C Murder. Mac, yeah, I fuck with Mac. Yep. I remember I got a story. I knew this was an interview, bro. Go ahead, bro. Damn your bitch. Look, I got a story, right? This probably about 94. Mm-hmm. This around the time. Whatever your ice cream man was popping. Okay, okay. The ice listen, cream man. listen. 95, I think. Nah, be there. I'm going to McDonald's. Yeah. By the church. Yeah. Pete come through with the ice cream truck. I swear to God. No cap. Watch out, I'm blue. Shout out to Man of Pete, man. Look, I swear to God, he gave me his he gave me his shit out the window. Yeah. I, I ain't gonna lie, when he drove on, I threw his shit over the um, church window because I was fucking with cash yeah, money. money. Yeah, you, like on, on some real shit. I ain't gonna even lie. Like, you were like, you like, I ain't gonna, I feel like, kinda, like, like this, like, you, you kind of show the side, but now you're like, not trying to do it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because we from the Magnolia. You see what I'm saying? We automatically gonna fuck with cash money. You know what I'm saying? It, it ain't like this. It ain't like no limit was our ops. You feel me? No limit was our ops, but we just, I don't know. That shit, I don't know. I threw it over the church. So even back then, it was still like, we cash money and that's, and that's no limit. And we yeah. gonna rock with cash money. Yeah, it was a split between. Even, even yeah, back then, yeah, like, yeah. 94, you like not in, you ain't, It ain't like you like tried to pick a side, but like, right. fuck, it was like. And then, like I said, bro, the only rappers I fucked with at that time was. The same thing probably on the cash money issue, you hear me? And the cash money probably the same thing on them. Matt and C Murder. So why, 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 why Slum, uh, you know, initially he signed with uh, No Limit. Mm-hmm. My cash money ain't come scoop him up. I don't know. I, that's, that's a good that's question. A, listen, that's a mystery. The project yeah. probably still that's don't know, question. bro. Like, how he get over there? Yeah, you probably had a, like... Because I'm going to tell you now. I know Wayne is Wayne, but in New Orleans, it's Slim and everybody else as far as rap. I don't give a fuck who you is. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> niggas the niggas can say what they want. Yeah, Wayne probably yeah. got a whole statue. You know where Wayne at, but yeah. in New Orleans... It's Slim and everybody else. It's dumb, bro. Nah, for sure. Yeah, but you know, Wayne kind of like, he really put him on the map was that Carter 2, for real. For like, that put two. him on the map. I Mac think the Carter 1. World that Carter 1 was. Carter 1 was, yeah. That Carter 1 was. Yeah, yeah. I see. I see. Carter 3 held me down after um, Katrina, though. That Carter one, but I, you know, motherfucker, the alien shit. Phone, <laughs> <laughs> we're alone, phone. What was that song? What that song? That Birdman Junior. That. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, that bitch yeah, still rocking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I think, I think. I feel for trying to do it. I bust your head till you turn your mind to fool. That's fool for you. dog. Yeah, I ain't lying to you. That, that, that Carter two was it for me though. Yeah. Was, the Carter two had the hustle music on it. Oh yeah, that Carter two um, was fire too. Yeah, fucking hit him up, hit him up, had all that. Yeah, New Orleans did a lot for hip hop. Oh, that, that was that was that was saying. Was saying was talking about. Bro. That was Gilly was saying. From, that was from the Carter two. Uh, Gilly, that's nice Carter one. Oh, that's the one. Gilly right. said uh, he did sound like him a little bit though. I ain't gonna even front. He sounded like him a little bit. I mean, come on, dog. If you think about it, I ain't seen him no raps. I ain't seen him no raps. Listen, Wayne, I don't think he wrote it, but nah, I but like, it was his style. Mm-hmm. I think we bounce, style, we in the studio, too. we bouncing ideas off each other. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And I think that, you know what I'm saying? But he probably saying, they, you know, I don't, I don't know, know he know. know. I don't know, right? No, I don't think for like, like no what? verses or nothing. I can't, I can't vouch for that. That dude, been, that dude was doing that not cursing. You right, think, think about that. He was doing it not cursing. His first man. seven, eight years in the game, he wasn't even cursing, bro. And he was lyrical and tearing niggas ass up. Yeah, bro. Like that verse he said, that boy said, my mama something about, I. 
I know I can't curse, but in this verse, man. Oh, like, yeah, that's that fuck like, word. Yeah, that's like, that dude was doing that shit not cursing, bro. Curse, but in his verse, like, his first probably yeah. 10, 7, 11 albums ain't got curse words bro. in it. Yeah, bro. It was like that. Look, it's like that. Nah, sure. Weezy F, baby. Please hit a baby. <laughs> <laughs> so now we got Kenny Boo on camera. You know, I wanted to address you about it. The Brewski. About your last interview and the comments. You know, a lot of people in the comments are saying that 20k a day is cap. Y'all wasn't getting money like that. Which, like, them niggas wasn't getting money like that. <laughs> listen, listen. Like I said, I stand on that because I was the one bagging it. So I don't give a shit what they talking about. But like I said, like I said, the only thing I probably say when I say about baby probably wasn't. But his artists, no limit artists. Name me one of them niggas was making twenty thousand dollars a day. Wayne, Turk, BG, Juvenile. I don't give a shit if it's C Murder, Silk. Who else? Who else you want to name? Shout right. out to the Slim. Gambino family, the Rizzo Nelly. So I, I guess the, the the people want to know is 20, 20k. How 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 was y'all breaking it down? It wasn't like Slim right now to y'all. Like, he could break that bitch down. Like listen, that. listen. It wasn't like no breaking down. Like that twenty was made and it was put up, but doing it, he 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 gave everybody probably like. Just put it like this. Everybody who it just like he said, it went on tears. It went about if you was a if you was in the hallway, if you was watching the bus. So it it, de it depended on what you was doing yeah, to it get this money. On what you was doing. Yeah. So if you was in the hallway, you probably got about three grand that day. Facts. If you was watching the bus, you probably got fifteen hundred. Facts. So, but not the whole like fifteen hundred. You probably got like a thousand dollars with like a a fucking eight hundred dollar bundle. Mm -hmm. So you you like. Mm -hmm. What? Think about that. 12 year olds like running, right. like getting that kind of money. Old. Like come 12, 13. That's like taking care of families shit. The max is 16. That's taking care of families and shit, man. So it wasn't like he was just busting it up without that 20 was put up. Like, cause that's, that's their money. That 20 so was put up. So in actuality, we probably were making like 35. No, no, what I'm saying is, like, that whatever that 20 was, that, that money was put up. Yeah. But we got our money from black. Like, just say like that, that 20 was put up, but everybody got like, who else, it went by 10, so if you was, whatever you was doing, you probably ain't got the same money as somebody else in the hallway. Uh, you see what I'm saying? But that money was put up. Okay, so. That's that's like kind of crazy that, like, yeah. where the money, who, who, it got bust up like that. that. Got like, what, bust up. That money was put up for saving. Yeah, for saving. <laughs> So how do you feel about the, re the reception, like the comments and everybody? From, no, from the I, I, I think the comments cool. I respect some of them, but respect. the only thing I don't respect is somebody trying to tell me what, what I made a day. Like, I'm telling you this is a fact. That shit crazy. Right. So, but that's the only thing, though. I respect the comments. Like, I don't, you know what I mean? I respect that. That's the opinion. <laughs> we give them the, the content from the comments, yeah. so I respect it. But I'm here to tell y'all it's not a, it's not no cap, bro. Yeah. Okay, and a lot of people was asking about, because you know, I interviewed uh, Skip first and I interviewed you, and the response, they want to know where your relationship is now, now that both interviews that came out, y'all told both of y'all sides, where, where your relationship at? Oh yeah, we still got a great relationship, man, that's my dog, that's my big bro, man, it's going to always be my big bro. Shout out to the bro. So yeah, we just telling y'all sides. Yeah, we just told our sides, he told how his perspective and I told my perspective. And that's that's that what it dead is. in the water. That's just dead in the water. That's big bro, man. Yeah, it was twenty years ago. Yeah, that's right. twenty years ago. But what's that no B it was five. Talk to the people, man. <laughs> man, we running it, man. We in there. What's that? Y'all yeah, already know what the hell, man. We in there. We in here. And look, and I and look, like like, Yo, leave like my dog some comments, man. Like stop look, comments. Like you were saying, like, you were saying, like you say how you see how you say slim. <laughs> you say how you say slim had like for niggas to be like Oh, you got to give me an address? <laughs> you know what our shit was? If you don't know Daryl Howard and that's Bussy, you're not from the project. <laughs> so speak on, speak Stand. on, speak on, uh, on Bussy and, uh... Bussy, listen, Bussy was a legend. Facts. Young boy, Bussy, too. Listen, and Young he was, ball. let me tell you about Bussy, bro. Bussy was... Rest in peace to Jeffrey Sanders, man. Bussy was like... Like I was like I was big dog. Like everybody had like Bussy was like, bro, I ain't never just put it like this. 
I wouldn't say like my, I wouldn't say people were scared of him, but people like Bussin had a presence, bro, yeah. and it was a it was for the be that like young for the be that young it was like a scary it was scary like yeah you had to be on your shit around him like he yeah. like if you was like <laughs> he Bussin was different if you don't know it like that's like I said if you know you know. Slim gave, you have to have an address. If you don't know Bussin, you're not out the project. And I know a lot of people don't know Bussin. Yeah. Yeah. He was he was younger, right? Yeah, yeah. he never early. Bussin got Bussin got when he that shit happened with Bussin. Bussin probably about twelve. Yeah, facts. Cause look, uh, when we went that shit happened. We went to school the next day in the auditorium. Man, then people said that in the auditorium. Man, the whole auditorium was crying. Yeah, mm. he was known. That little bit of known. Mm. Bussin was man. Listen, if Bussin would have lived, listen. <laughs> I don't know. And he he was uh he was different for sure. He had the potential to be bigger than anybody in the project. He was different for sure. And he was hit by a car. Yeah. He wasn't like killed like by a gun or anything. Yeah. He had the potential yeah, to be then. Listen, he had the potential to be bigger than anybody in the project. What what made what like gives you that that impression that he had that potential to be like because the I it was like, yeah it was like that though. Look, my mama asked, remember, mama said she asked that boy what he wanted to be like. Boy, said he, he want to be like his dad. Yeah. You know his dad is. Yeah, who is who is that? Big Bussin. Big Bussin. Mm -hmm. And he's a well known name as yeah. well. Shout out to the full sales, man. For real. And you said uh he used to walk around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he look, 10, 11 <laughs> years old, eleven years old, it's, walking it's around. Dug, dug with a red big rag and big old pit. Big old pit bull with red rags on their neck. Like Bussin used to um like remember that tell him about that shit, you told him about that shit with your Jeff, huh? Yeah, but Bussy used to. I mean, one time I got another story. We was on a river walk. <laughs> we walking on a river walk. It's about eight or nine of us. Me, it was me, you, Bussy, Quintel, probably Panu, Travis. Yeah, Panu, Travis. Shout out to Panu and Travis, man. Jeff. Yeah. Probably Jeff. It was Zerick, yeah. Probably Zerick, a bunch yeah, of us. Yeah, yeah. Bro, this. Sam. Was, yeah, Sam. Yep. Look, as we walking on the river walk, bro, I kid you not, we deep. But this dude out the blue just shoved Quintel. Quintel going the river. Look, if there's no ladder Big right soap, there, you're Big soap. Look, if there's no ladder right there, Quintel climb out. We walking back, Quintel soaking wet, bro. This dude busted. Boy, I said, this dude cool. busted crazy. He's so, different, son. So he was like a he was like a bully. Not a bully, oh, but, okay. but he is you know what I'm saying? He was like, he was like, he didn't throw his weight around. You know, he can yeah, throw his weight around. Yeah. But but he ain't that. Bussin was like, he was a water. protector too, though. Like, yeah. he ain't like, like, you wasn't just going to come that's around like, his friends and like, do what you want to him. That's just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, all of us in a group. And you got one more dominant than the whole group. And that was but he like, always, you know, test each other. You know what I'm saying? We all we always was in check. His favorite thing was watermelon. Nobody can't, you know what I'm saying? You can't get in check if you already in check. You feel what I'm saying? Like, nobody can't Bussin check you. Bussin was different, man. You already Bussin. in check. Like, you know what I'm saying? We used to check each other. You feel me? So Bussin when we go in the street, the to be bigger than anybody no, nothing can't project. check us because we already in check. We do it on the daily. So tell me about um, Dune Boy 411. Well, Shout out, man. man. Rest in peace to Fo, man. man. Fo ain't got the fucking fans out that bitch too for me, too. You heard me? I would have had more of them bro, bitches, did, more of them bitches on me that's, than that. That's the little bro, bro. Four was a fool. And he four. rest in peace, four eleven. And he got his he got his name four eleven because he was short. Yeah, yeah. Four I don't think he was four eleven. I don't think he was four eleven, but four trick. So, I got look, look. I got trick. Look, look, I got a story with four whole family short though. Look, Mama got, Sean, sister Sean. Look, I got a story with four. He was young then. That is his brother. Let me tell you. Folk been like off the post since yeah. he probably was like four of ten. Listen, and he was going to Wilson. Him and Slim went to the same elementary. They mm -hmm. probably was the only two people in the project probably went, went to Wilson. Wilson. Yeah, Wilson. But yeah. we on Washington. I mean, we on Willis shooting dice. You know, mm -hmm. if he ten, yeah. he wasn't the height he was. No, he, he went was like, like, like a fire around. Right so he <laughs> shooting dice. He looking like a fire. Dice valley could fit in his hand. Look, he shooting the dice. Yeah, yeah. The dice. You can see the dice shaking. shaking. You can see the dice shaking. And he's shooting dice, like, but that's like full Ben, full Ben off the porch and like ready. Like full was full was different. And uh, B, you say he, he looked out for you in a situation. What uh, yeah. what, what happened with that situation? That was the situation when I got jammed up. Okay. When I got jammed up, four eleven went up and then grabbed the rest of them things out there. Mm. 
And you seen him, you say you seen him coming out. Yeah. He yeah, coming out that bitch like this. Yeah. Come out Creeping there. out that bitch, you hear me? Look, coming look, straight look, to look, you. Look, I turn on Mac Miller, that boy coming out of step like a like a quarterback. Like he got a rock. You know hear me? He coming out with that on full nickel. Yeah, I'm telling you. Red Pizza 4-11, man. So so growing up between y'all two, did y'all used to fight a lot? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. Well, we, see, this, look, this my brother. Are, this is how we love each other. You heard me? Look, look, we people don't know. know. Look, people don't know. For a lot of people, they even know me and him was brothers. Facts. You had to know to know. Facts. If you like, knew, you knew. Because he like a beat always had like his own crew and shit since he been young. Like everybody always just grab uh, like he always been that person like everybody gravitated to. He been having like his own crew and all that shit. I used to run with. It. Like dude, like I ran with him and them, but I ran with people like Dooley, like shout out to Dooley, where rest Dooley, the Dooley, man, Dooley, fucking um, see that that this shit, man, so crazy, so many motherfuckers, man, like Gerald, right? Yeah, people, man, Gerald. so many, like so many motherfuckers, man, like these shit dudes, crazy, man. man, look, boy, nigga, that that nigga, the name about project was 13, 14 bro. people that's gone already, man. Our That's crazy. Look, tell him about that shit. No, you don't gotta say the name, but when Eric Moore reached that boy, they was talking that shit and he made you. Man, you know what I'm saying? He like, you know, the big homies always, you know, like testing the homies. You know how I go here. Remember, um, big homies always testing the homies. Big homies tell you go pop What you gonna do? You gonna tell them, no, you ain't gonna go pop him. Going over there, pop the piss out. You're gonna walk your ass. <laughs> So who, who was the big homie that told you to do that? That was Eric Maurice, you heard? Oh, okay. I probably was like, fuck, eight. But nigga was, but, but what happened was, we remember we was sitting on, um, we was sitting we on, we like four dollars, you heard? We was sitting on Goja <laughs> truck, we had all, always had the dogs. Yeah. And all of us was sitting on this truck and Eric was passing up Magnolia and nigga said something crazy. Yeah. And Eric was like, be there. Damn, man. That was that, it was just it was like some. quick something. shit, it was like quick shit. Alright, so we gotta, we gotta do this again, Fish. Yeah, we gotta so it, sign out, man. Highlight the people, let them know where they can find y'all on, on social media. And uh, yeah, just highlight them. You sign me? out. You know how let me on, you hear me? On going luxury fashion, man. I got the fly shit, you hear me? And I'm still, you know, I'm just doing me, man. That's it. You me? Free all my niggas, you hear me? Bet. Free stupid. You hear me? Bet. Rest in peace to all my niggas, man. Yeah, yeah, I'll let him sign up. Me, you hear me? I ain't been, I ain't really, you hear me? But on YouTube, I'm, I'm the product has, but the product keep grinding, you hear me? Keep grinding, you hear me? That's the goat. I kind of slick came on with that shit too, sir. <laughs> keep grinding, I don't know what the fuck, like, I just see keep grinding, just come out of the blue, everybody used to keep grinding. I'm busy with that. I'm busy with the keep grinding, dog, but like, you hear me? That bitch out there. Alright, that's that. Until next time. 100, y'all. Stay up, man. 10 toes down. Believe that.